Hi, welcome to Chem with Go. Today we're going to take a look at a chart like this, which has the electromagnetic spectrum, and use the chart to determine what kind of electromagnetic wave each one of these examples that we've gotten in class um, would uh, describe, be described in using, by using the chart. So let's take a look at an example. Let's pretend that the wavelength of some electromagnetic radiation is around 2 meters, so 2.10 meters. Now, looking at the chart, if we see wavelength right here, okay, and then we identify where 2.10 meters would probably be, it would probably be right around here somewhere. And notice that since this is a wavelength, that's where 2 meters would be. Notice that this type of electromagnetic radiation would be considered a radio wave. Okay? Let's take a look at another example. What if we take a look at a frequency? Um, let's say the frequency of a wave is around 4.8 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Okay, hertz. All right, uh, now let's go ahead and find frequency on the diagram. It's right here, so here's frequency. And anything that's 10 to the 15th is right around here, okay? But it's 4.8 times 10 to the 15th, so that means it's probably right somewhere in the middle. And if we extrapolate on this chart right here, notice that it leads us to ultraviolet radiation. So this is UV radiation. All right. And that's how to use the electromagnetic spectrum table to identify what type of electromagnetic radiation it is, uh, depending on whether or not you're given the uh, wavelength or the frequency. All right. And I'll talk to you guys soon.